Trying to remember where I'm at. <clears throat> well, we are on uh, almost the final stretch here of our little uh, getaway, and I hope you're enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying drinking in different states. Uh, so, <laughs> we are back in Florida, and we are in the middle right now, visiting my brother. And I picked up this little guy right here. Little, right? Yeah, he's 750. It's a little monkey. Little bastard. It's Bart Bartram's. Bartram's Gin. And I'm gonna read you the back of this. Oh, hopefully I don't fall. Inspired by flavors reminiscent of James Burton's Garden. It's a fuzzy juniper berry. Intermingled with dry spice notes of cinnamon and gelatin root. Fully citrus aromas. Bartram's Gin is a nod to colonial history in 1728. James Barton King, George II's royal botanist for the colonies. Established Barton's Garden, the first botanical garden on the continent. Located in Philadelphia, city of Brother of Love. Oh, yeah, I know. The garden thrived on international trade and local plant species throughout the 18th and 19th century. And today, the garden is in the historical site that includes the original as well as many modern uh, species. Experience is gin and honor in the history of Barton. It's a splendid garden. I guess uh, a lot of words right there. Um, here is. So, about this gin. I have, have seen this around. I found it out a lot. I like the corn pieces. Um, and I've, I've wanted to try it. The good thing was I found it here where I'm at, uh, right across the street. Uh, I've seen it for about 25, so I don't know. Alright, let's pop this guy now. Mm. Uh, you know what? I, cinnamon. I can taste the smell. It's almost like I am tasting it though. It's like an, an inhalation of, of taste. Don't you love when that happens? Let's try it. You've got to know that this ain't mm. living. But we could run. Forty percent. I don't know if I ever said that. It's definitely junipers. I mean, it's definitely a gin. The junipers right there, right where I want it to be. The backing spices, though, it really is what it says. It, it's saying it, it wants to be, you know, part of this uh, garden of botanicals, and that's what it tastes. That's what it is. It's like a garden of botanicals. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think if you see it and uh, you're ready for especially for $20, yeah, you, you get this. Um, let's just do a little tonic with it. You know, I found that hotel rooms are made in January. Everything I need, I just need a glass, which I did go out and buy today. But I already got a good tonic in it. Anyway, let's let's do this one here. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of reviews lately. Hopefully, I can you know bank a few because uh, I'm going to be venturing back out there in the workforce soon. And once I do that, I'm not gonna have a lot of time. But uh, that's why I'm making time now. And hopefully, in the future, I can do more of this. Um, and Maybe just this. Back, that, that would be a, that's the dream. But uh, for right now, <laughs> if you want me to, this is my hobby. It's just we can it's nice my hobby. Okay. You know that cinnamon I was saying before? Yeah. But it's not like 
baking spice cinnamon, but not nutmeggy, not, not fancy clove. It's, it's good. It's, it's a dry gin. It has a citrus, uh, a rounded citrus on the back end, the on the front. It's very dry, as I said. Um, the botanicals they use in here has to be like more earthiness. Um, I think they also went with some nice flowery perfumey type botanicals as well. I do like this label here. I like that little thing. I, always, I, I think of perfume, I think of perfume, I think of peaks right away. Uh, again, good gin, cheap gin. Um, this is a good beginner gin. If you're out there and you want to try uh, something that's not like, you know, like the big beat or something or something like that, if you want to go a little bit outside the norm of the standard three. Let's try to do that. see this one? Yeah, I would try it. Um, that's because it's iconic. Now it's a good, nice tropical drink. Right. Hopefully, we get to do one on the beach tomorrow, but if not, it's always where I live. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, from me to you, to you to me and everyone else out here in this great big old land we call the United States, keep drinking gin, keep watching these reviews, I'll keep making them. And I'm trying to let you know which ones not to go to and which ones you probably should, okay? Uh, I'll see you again on the next one. Have a good night, and uh, I'll be back to my normal Joe self soon. Uh, adios.